Welcome back to Takedown Wrestling. We have a special guest today, Tony Ramos from North Carolina in the Nike hot seat. Tony, how are we doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, man. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back to the show. We appreciate you taking the time. I know with practice and travel, it's not easy to, to take the time, but you guys just got back from a, a road trip, Nebraska, a big dual win, and then went to, to Northern Iowa. Things didn't go your way. Um, overall, overall thoughts on just the weekend and what you saw from your guys? Uh, overall, you know, it was a good weekend. Guys came out, they wrestled hard, they fought hard. Um, we saw a lot of good things, but like every dual meet or no matter win or lose, there's some things we need to correct. I'm um, real excited for, you know, Kennedy Monday in that big win against Nebraska. You know, beforehand I just grabbed him, I said, you know, one big win can springboard your career forward and build confidence on that. And after that win, he was walking around with a lot of swagger, um, feeling good. So I'm excited to see where he goes from here. Um, you know, at the upper end, Danny Shade starting to come around again like he was at the end of the year last year. Our heavyweight, Corey Daniels, looking pretty tough, you know, finishing shots now. Um, so there's a lot of excitement moving forward. What do you think is the difference between, like, prior to the season, you know, preseason workouts to right now? What, what's been the biggest difference? Um, I think, you know, one of the biggest differences is a lot more focus training. Um, the guys are starting to buy into what we're preaching and what we've been trying to get them to do for the past, you know, year, year and a half. Um, and it helps that we have a guy like Troy Heilman who's, you know, seen great results from it. Um, you know, there's an example in the room now that guys can follow. You know, there's a template. It's not just us preaching to them, hey, you got to do this, hey, you got to do that, and things are going to happen. You know, now they see if I do this or I do that, things will happen. I mean, the, the start of the season, you guys got – you know, Russell Purdue, Oki State, things didn't go so hot. And then uh, yep. App State, you know, Nebraska, two two great duels for you guys. You're going down to South Beach duels coming up. And then there's no there's no break in your guys' lineup. When you guys, I guess, planned out your season, um, did you did you want to have this or these guys were going nonstop from December through January to prepare for March? Um. Yeah, kind of. I mean, we've had a, a week off here, a week off there, where we've been able to train pretty good. But, um, you know, being in the ACC, uh, there's only six schools, so we have a lot more opportunities to schedule different opponents, different conferences. And we knew a big thing that we wanted to do is get in front of these Big Ten schools or these schools that we're not really going to get a crack at until it's the national tournament. I uh, felt like last year that's kind of where, on our end, our guy, we kind of let our guys down. Um, so we did a better job this year of really planning our dual meets out. So when our guys do get to the national tournament, they've had their hands on everyone or have had feels from the best guys in the country. You know, you, at North Carolina, everyone associates the school, obviously, with basketball. Um, you yeah. guys, I mean, you guys getting into the top 25 in the rankings. Um, you know, what's, what's a, what have you seen, I guess, out of the administration as far as how they treat wrestling here recently? Um, you know, they're really excited. Uh, I don't think they expected us to really kind of fast track it as fast as we have. Um, but to us, we're still behind on the ball. You know, we want to be top 10, top five right now and next year compete for a national title. Um, I think we're maybe one year behind that next year, getting that top 10, top five, compete for a trophy. And then, you know, from there, not looking back. But um, there's been a lot of excitement and you know, a lot of congratulations. Team's looking great. You guys are doing the right things. Um, but, like you said, it's a basketball school. Um, we still need to get out there and really perform hard and win a bunch of titles to, you know, get in that limelight, um, not just with the administration but with the fans and with the community. Um, you know, on a personal level as far as training goes, um, your, your off season, I guess you could say, outside of college coaching, um, what is your outlook, I guess, is going forward here at 61 kilograms this coming, coming year? I'm excited. Um, you know, I had my first competition at the Schultz. I didn't do exactly how I wanted to, uh, but I got out there, got picked on the mag, started competing again, new weight class, um, ended up losing to Cologne. But, you know, the way I look at it is the last time I lost to Cologne, you know, it jump started one of the best years I've had. So, you know, I'm excited. Um, can't wait to get back out there and compete again, hopefully here at the end of January in Russia. Um, then get our guys ready for ACC's Nationals and then focusing on myself. You know, I, I got to imagine a guy like you, Tony, has, you know, he had tons of success at the college level, immediate success on the international level. In the last couple of years, things haven't gone the same, right? So yep. how have you 
I guess, managed those losses and taken those t and turned them into a positive for, you know, back to your family, back to your college kids, and, and continuing to, to try to wrestle on the world level? Yeah, uh, for me, nothing changes. You know, there's going to be bumps along the way. Um, and if you just put your head down and keep going down, you know, things aren't going to be good. But um, I use them more as examples to my guys, um, you know, why this happened, why that happened. You know, you don't want this to happen in your career. Um, so I, I find ways to spin it to, you know, find the good out of it, not just for myself, but for the people around me. Um, you know, especially I've had conversations with uh, our 97-pounder, Danny Shade, you know, a couple times where I told him, you can do everything right, but it doesn't mean you're going to win. Uh, and it doesn't mean that the guy who beats you does everything right. You know, you just want to make sure you're giving yourself that chance, you know, where you are prepared and where you know there's nothing else you could have done and go out there and compete with your heart and hopefully the best happens. Well, going back to you know, the college team, UNC, what are the expectations right now for within the ACC and then in March at the NCAA tournament? Where do you guys want to be? Uh, you know, ACC, is, we want to win. You know, we think we got a squad that can go out there and win. We got NC State was very tough. Virginia Tech was very tough. But um, I feel our individuals are also very tough, and they're excited. And an excited and motivated team is a very scary team. Um, so that's our plans for ACC. Nationals, we want to get all 10 guys down, um, get some guys, you know, All-American this year. I think we can have three, four, maybe five. And I'm looking to get, you know, one or two finalists in there. Um, people might call me crazy, but, you know, I think with the guys that we have, we can do that. Tony, we appreciate the time as always, and uh, we wish you the best of luck on the college scene and then uh, personally at uh, 61 Kilograms. Thank you.